Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Um, today I'm just gonna bring you back to the basics and this is how to paint gel polish like a pro. So this can be for you at home, this can be for you beginner nail techs or even seasoned nail techs if you need just a little uh, you know, help or a few tips and tricks. Um, okay, so I am using this white nail and I did draw the black to represent the cuticle. And I did this because on a nail trainer or on a real person's hand, you, it's gonna be kind of hard to see, you know, what I'm doing. So I'm using this hot pink color. So we have contrasting colors. And okay, so let's just get started. So the most common mistake that people make are not loading your brush up enough. And this is for gel polish that I'm speaking of. Um, gel polish doesn't dry till you put it in the light, so you have plenty of time to work with it. So most nail techs, the, or most, the most common mistake is that, you know, they're going to use like this much, they think this much polish is going to load up, um, or is going to paint this nail and it's just not, and you're going to have to go back, dip in and so on and so forth. So what I like to do, and this is just what I like to do guys, this is not right or wrong or, you know, um, the only way to do it there's many ways to polish nails obviously as you guys have seen so this is just the way i like to do it and hopefully this will help you so let's just get started i like to load up my brush and get a good amount because we can wipe a lot of that off later and i like to start as close to the cuticle without actually touching the cuticle so i mean right there that's still pretty far and what i like to do is i like to fan my brush out you can see my brush fanning out and i like to just inch it up Okay, fan it down and inch it up. And if you have like a narrow cuticle, like it's not this wide, don't push it down too hard. Kind of do a softer push and push it down or softer pressure. Softer pressure and then push it up. So it's really close. So we got a nice, close, clean cuticle area. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna focus on this part of the brush, this side, the tip, to do the left side of the nail. You're gonna only focus on that part. So you're gonna put your brush down and watch your tip, that side, and just follow it down and go slow. You don't have to go fast. It has time to work. You need to go back and kind of touch an area. Okay. So now, same thing with the other side. We're gonna focus on this tip right there for the right side. Put it up to the area and just slowly start to push, pull it down. Pull it down and we have a nice clean cuticle. If you feel like even right there, I don't know if you guys can see that, it's a little, a little tiny wavy. So I'm gonna go back in, kind of touch that up. So I'm gonna push down, just push it. There, that looks good to me. So now you want to cap your free end, free edge. This is going to give you longer wear. Long nails, you do it just like that, like you see most videos do. Super short nails, um, you can't really do that because you're gonna get polish all over their nails. So a tip is to turn your brush upside down and kind of just, I guess you can say an up and down motion or a back and forth motion to really get the free edge capped. And now I'm just gonna take a few strokes and just wipe off any excess that is on there. And there we have a finished first coat. And I will show you guys up close so you can kind of see the clean cuticle. And this is what you want because this is what's gonna give you longer results. Your clients will last at least two to three weeks. You're not gonna have any issues with lifting and um, it's just gonna grow out a lot nicer. So hope you guys found this helpful. Um, like, subscribe, share, do whatever. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you guys taking the time to leave these comments. I've had a lot of kind comments, so I really appreciate it so much. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.